All the games from the bargain bin. Watch them being played by him or him. It's the Bargain Bin Brothers. Hi there, I'm Devin, the younger brother, and today I'll be looking at a game called Fill Up. Now, before we actually get started, I just want to let you guys know that I've tried to talk about this game and, and show you this game a few times, and every single time I try and do it, um, it kind of gets messed up because of the fact that the game itself has extremely, extremely simple mechanics. Um, so instead of trying to just show you me playing the game, I'm going to go through some of the basics, and I'm just going to talk about the features and let you know what I do like and what I don't like about this game. So the first thing is, and this becomes really apparent <laughs> as you play more, there's a bunch of stuff that's in German or like badly translated. Um, I think the game was originally in German and it got like translated to English and whoever did it was not you know skilled at all <laughs> at doing so. So a lot of this stuff is just randomly randomly German part German whatever. Um, so there's two modes uh, career and missions. Um, I've never actually tried the missions, um, but it's more about what your like goals are, not so much the gameplay. As I understand it, the gameplay is what the gameplay is. So the first thing you'll notice as you you know look at the game here uh, is that it's a gas station. Fill up gas station it makes sense. Okay, what doesn't make sense is actually how you execute this gas tycoon kind of like game it it reminds me of one of those games like the the uh the ones where you own a cafe or like the like the more advanced version of the lemonade stand game um uh, i can't remember the term for those games if you remember the term for those games you can comment that and you know prove that you know the names of types of games better than I do, but uh, so you have a like a 24 levels. I've only gone through a few of them. Um, this is a new a new player that I'm starting, so you get to see the first level. Yay! Um, there are any, like there are no performance issues with the game, but uh, you you'll see what I have issue with. Um, there's a little bit of like a cartoony, cartoony interaction here, badly translated. Um, long story short, uh, your uncle died and he left you an inheritance. Uh, and for some reason, you have to develop a gas station to earn your inheritance from your uncle. It's, it doesn't really make any sense. Um, you've got these like tabs here that you can do stuff with. You can click help. Um, so now you're getting into like the basic premise of the game. See so how these these cars? There's cars here, yes. Okay. Those little like bubbles over them. That's what they want. So you need to provide them with you know gasoline for this guy here, um, LP gas, whatever that is, diesel. Um, well, that's that's electricity. Okay, that's an electric car and biofuel okay so um, that's refueling these are the buildings that you build to be able to provide them with that fuel see the color on the top matches the the color of the, the thing they want because kind of makes it easier service so if you look at service um, there's all the service buildings you can build and then there's all their bubbles with their needs uh, fuel is uh, pretty simple. Uh, when you every time you refuel a car, it drains your fuel resources, and you just have to order more fuel. Um, for some reason, they bring you electricity as like a truck with big batteries on the back. That makes no sense. Um, I don't. I guess they just wanted the same formula for all of the the fuel resources, and they didn't care that it makes no sense. So what can you do? What can you do? Um, 
other stuff. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I I don't know what this is, what the, the whole like client will not be served thing is talking about. But anyway, uh, the fuel does not match. So you have to give them the right fuel, right? There's a gasoline station. It's red, and this person wants diesel. So you've obviously, you know, you're giving them the wrong gas, which is really bad for their bus. So probably want to avoid that. Um, and then uh, upgrades. You can upgrade your buildings to do better. So the buildings like refuel faster or whatever. Anyway, okay. So there's the basic idea here. Now in actuality, what you're doing, and I okay. Just bear with me here. What you do is you left click on the car and you hoist it up like a giant magic crane. And you bring it over, right? And you plop it next to the building that has the fuel that it wants. Now, as far as I'm aware, even in Germany, which is pretty you know cool and advanced in a lot of ways, you don't just park your car in the parking lot and then have a magic crane thing bring your car to a refueling uh, building that matches your fuel needs. You know, even in Germany, you have to, you know, actually drive up to the pump for the right fuel. So, kind of weird. Um, I guess it's just a style choice, like a gameplay mechanic choice. That's something I don't really like because it doesn't. It it makes no sense at all, um, and it kind of it feels kind of gratuitous, right? Like, why am I moving these cars over? when clearly that's not a thing that would ever actually happen. Um, and if that's the main point of my like of what I'm doing, then it's kind of kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so resources, uh, so you click on the construction tab and it, it allows you to like build things. See all these little zones? You can build shit. Um, so click on this and then once you click on the place you want to build, you just click demolish or Demolition or modernization, um, which is like clearing the terrain or like upgrading your facilities. Um, money needed is 500, so it costs 500 bucks to flatten it. Yes, so you can destroy buildings that way as well. Um, so now you can click on a place that's already been like demolished and it's got those cones, and you can choose uh, whatever building you want to build. In my case, I'm building a diesel pump because that's what the tut tutorial wants me to do. Um, yeah, and it's still talking to me. Um, notice these little little things beside the, the cars. That's how pissed off they are. Um, as time goes by, you'll see the little bubble seat. Yellow. Alright, so this guy really is impatient. And he wants me to go drop him over the pump. So, uh, drop him over at the pump. Drop this guy over at the other pump because he was diesel. There's another gasoline one. Give him the gasoline. Diesel, give him diesel. Gasoline, give him the gasoline. So you can see what I don't like about the game, which is the main gameplay mechanic, which is dropping these vehicles here, makes no sense at all. And it's kind of boring and repetitive. Like, this is, this is actually basically just the game. This is the game. I'm doing the game right now. This is the game. Um, there's a couple little things, like, see how my diesel's going down? There's a couple things that are actually kind of interesting or cool or whatever. Um, it, you can, you know, order more diesel. Um, pause. Help. Awards. Awards is like achievements. Um, you can upgrade your buildings, see? This, this makes it uh, fill up vehicles faster. And this other one uh, prevents you from fueling the wrong car. So, so like, if I plop a, a diesel bus down, it will not fill it. Uh, otherwise, just don't suck. It's not hard to look at the, the thing that you're being asked for and just plop it down in the matching color. Um, maybe this is a challenging and fun game for someone who's in, like, grade two. I don't know. Uh, you can click on, 
you can click on your fuels here, resources, fuels, um, excuse me, and uh, and a bus will show up, or a truck, see, and this one's a fuel truck, so you just plop it down at the corresponding fuel station, and uh, boom, there you go, now I have full diesel again. But, uh, yeah, so construction, uh, you can demolish things, again, you can, you, those are the, if you look at all the spots here, those are the spots you have. You don't have any more spots than that. Um, you can upgrade your main facility. You can upgrade this facility. Uh, bonus is not enough. You need to see at the top, bonuses. I get bonuses when I quickly serve customers. Um, and I, uh, I use up my bonuses. Um when I build things. I don't know why that you know works the way it does, but I, it's just a gameplay mechanic. That gameplay mechanic is again kind of dumb, whatever. It makes no sense. I don't understand what it's you know actually referring to in real life. But at least it you know is is an okay gameplay mechanic versus this like drag and drop thing. It just it's really really stupid and boring. Like I feel like Clicker games were a stupid idea. Drag and drop games are just like that times a thousand. Like, look at this. Drag and drop, and drag and drop, and drag and drop. And it's just so boring. So boring. Oh, I ran a diesel. Oh, wow, this is so complicated. I have to order more diesel. Who would have ever ever thought that I would need more diesel. I don't know what I'm doing. So that's the game. It's uh it's really simple. You get more fuel types and you get like the different buildings and stuff. But really that's it. That you build the buildings, you upgrade the buildings, you drag and drop the cars and the buses, and uh, then there's more types of cars and buses that appear. And yeah, that's uh, that's it. Uh, if you want, I will continue doing this until I build a fuel depot, or a, a service station, sorry. Uh, there you go. I should have enough money for a fuel, for a service station now. Construction, here, service station. Yay, I won. So, yeah, if you like dragging and dropping, then, uh, you'll really like this game. Uh, if you don't like dragging and um... If dragging and dropping a whole bunch is not, like, a thing that you do for fun, um, you know, you don't love Windows Explorer or whatever, um, then it's probably not going to be something that really thrills you. Um, I didn't really see anything terribly challenging beyond that. Um, so if you want to pay $3.29 Canadian to do a bunch of dragging and dropping, that's your choice. You can spend your money however you want. Uh, personally, um, I think I've given you a fair overview of why I would not spend that money. Um, so, I'm definitely, like, I'm not as disappointed as I have been in some games. Um, I can think of a handful that were far worse. Um, the uh, Zombie Zoets is a great example of one that I... I really, I thought was far, far worse, and just, the, the creators have put no effort in, um, that was what I took away from that game. This game, I still don't like it, but it's not horrifying, so I wouldn't pay 329 you can if you want, I'm gonna say most people probably won't after seeing this, um, but... It's your prerogative. Um, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Uh, I'm going to give it... 
an overall rating of 7.5 out of 100. I wish there was something between 100 and 1,000 because I would totally give this uh, 500, 7.5 out of 100, but that's not how our rating system works. So um, a 7.5 out of 100 overall. And uh, I'm not going to, definitely not going to recommend this game. But, you know, you've seen it. If you like it, if that's something you like, then go for it. Um, if you had any questions about the gameplay or or wanted to comment on some of the hilarious, hilarious German things like the umlaut over the the U and menu, um, just throw a comment down there. Any Germans out there who want to make funny comments, do it. Do it up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our videos yet, definitely subscribe. Um, like this video if you thought it was cool, or if you enjoyed my explanation of why I don't like this game. Um, just, you know, hit that like button. It's uh, It shows us that you appreciate what we're doing, and all the money that we're wasting on games that we don't enjoy. Um, so definitely, definitely do that. Um, and other than that, all I can say is I hope I've saved you $3 or found a game that you want to play and you're going to spend some money on. So take care, YouTube. Have a good one.